one of my mentors, one of the things she said to me, and I've never been superintendent, but she said this to me as a principal, and I'm sure there's a um, th there's a correlation to this role. Is she said when you leave that place, um, I want to know what your fingerprints were on that. That I should see, not necessarily like you know. I think a lot of times, uh, I've shared this story before. There was pictures of the principal in the school is that like basically who who is the principal in the school and they would have those pictures up and that was kind of like that your legacy was in that portrait right it was kind of like that and i went to that school i'm like i don't want my print i don't want my picture up there like that's to me is not important and i actually um encourage my staff let's get rid of those pictures and let's replace them with kids and so in that school today there's pictures of students in the front foyer instead of the principals and even though there's no picture of me i'm proud that some of my fingerprints are i would rather have the pictures of kids up there still instead of a picture of myself yes. you know what i mean and so that's part of the fingerprints and so you know i, I and i'm sure that's the same thing too right you have a legacy in following dr griffin into this role but you also got to put your own fingerprints. So like, what, what would you say maybe is like, what's something maybe you did that brought your own kind of style or presence to, to that new, that new role? Well, there again, we have to think about COVID and different things right, such as that right. and the role that's coming in, you know, like yeah, remote learning and doing all that and just making sure that, you know, that students were fed, that teachers had access and they were able, kids were able to get online and do it. And then, you know, and just different, the support and just making sure that people, people saw the school as a community resource that we will help you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then all of a sudden we almost, it's almost like starting over again. Now we're back to in-person learning and doing different things. So we've had, we've gone through COVID. So how does Chip Jones, like you said, it, and I agree, I don't need my picture at all. Right. I mean, take it down and whatever. And there are no pictures around here of people, administrators. By I'll, the be, way. I'll be there. Yeah. Check it out. Right. Yeah, you can check it out. If you <laughs> we might put up a big one, I don't know. Maybe we'll put yours up. I don't know. <laughs> and um, we'll have a big one of you. And um, so, but I, I hope that my mark is, or that people know that we help kids especially all kids, but especially to at the high school level, get a more understanding of what they want to do when they leave here, that they've had experiences and that they know that they have had opportunities for job shadowing, for career development, right. and just being out and meeting people. And then one of the things that I like that I just, that I'm a firm believer in is, you know, I don't know if you've heard of Stephanie Krauss, but, um, She's she's an author, so she did some work here, and she talked about currencies one time. And one of those, if you know someone, then I, it's your obligation to help connect someone that may need that. Does that make sense? Yep. And so, I like to do that. I feel that I want to be a connector to help. You know, if this kid needs this, then we've connected them to this opportunity. That I've been a connector to help them get an experience, mm -hmm. to help them grow, and to give. Do you mind if I give you an example? Go for it. I'd love to so hear So like, you know, we were partnering with a local community college. So one time, you know, we had a in when in person meetings were um getting back into place. And it's weird to say that. Mm -hmm. I took this opportunity because I had a Zoom and it wasn't enough time to drive back. So I was like, hey, do you have an empty classroom? I can do this Zoom. But they were gonna have this luncheon meeting and they said, Hey, Chip, join us. Okay. So down in one of the counties microsoft has put in all these data centers and they had worked with the community local community college to have these mock data centers to help kids um get certification so eventually they could work with microsoft so i was sitting there cumberland is an hour and a half from this place so i asked the president and there a couple of deans i said well and these are chip terms i said how does cumberland get a piece of this pie right you know, we're an hour and a half away my kids deserve it as much as these others mm -hmm. i don't have a data center you know, and they said, well, I said, well, let's think about this. Let's let's get the right people. Let's let's design this plane. What are we going to do? So on that, to you know, to get to the point last year, we had four students and that's take the class virtually Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. Fridays, we transported them an hour and a half to this mock data center. 
and for their hands-on portion of the class. And they walked away with some ITF and A-plus certifications at the end of the year. And these kids are now going to the VCU and the George Masons pursuing mm -hmm. computer science. I love does that, that make sense? It and does. it's just the connecting of it where a possibility was not available before. And mm -hmm. because of just thinking outside the box and saying, yes, we made this happen. And I remember talking to parents about it and they were like, how did, what's this going to look like? And the superintendent saying, I have no idea what this is going to look like, but it sounds really fun. Let's yeah. try it. And we'll, we'll make it happen. 